Hi neighbors, welcome back to another video of Cooking with Neighbors. My name is Jerry Ellen and welcome to my channel. It's my pleasure to have you here and I do appreciate the time you take out of your day to spend here with me in my kitchen. Today I am doing another crock pot recipe. It is not one out of the booklets that I'm sharing with you this month. It's just one that I felt like sharing. Uh, it's a slow cooker Salisbury steak. It's delicious. Some of it is going to be done on the stove top and it's going to be put in our crock pot. And if this sounds like something that you would like to have that you think is delicious, stick around and uh, let's get started at it. I'm going to show you the ingredients for the patties first before the gravy. We have milk and eggs, package of onion soup mix, breadcrumbs, garlic powder, parsley flakes, dried, uh, ketchup, and you can use Worcestershire or soy sauce for this part. I'm going to put on some gloves for y'all. Also, you have the beef. This, I'm using two pounds of ground beef today, and I'm going to be cooking it in this beautiful vintage crock pot that I have here that my son bought for me at a thrift shop because it reminded him of a crock pot that, we, at, that I cooked in when he was little. Two pounds of a ground beef. I'm going to add one cup of ketchup. Four tablespoons of, oh, did I say one cup of ketchup? Oh my gosh, one cup of breadcrumbs and one uh, quarter cup or four tablespoons of ketchup. Silly me. Two teaspoons of garlic powder. One tablespoon of dried parsley flakes. One tablespoon of Worcestershire or soy sauce. One package of dried onion soup mix. I uh, one third, one third of a cup of milk. Just so I don't get any shells, I'm gonna crack my eggs into here first. Oh, there's the shell for you. There we go. I'm gonna put two large eggs. I'll wait my counter too. And I'm gonna get some pepper. Pepper to taste. Not gonna add salt because that onion soup mix can be quite salty. I'm gonna give this a good old mixy mix to combine it all well. I'm gonna wash my glove anyway because I gotta move you guys over towards the frying pan. So now I gotta wash my gloves just like I would wash my hands. start frying and then we're going to do the gravy part and then we're going to put it all in the crock pot. Just give me one minute. All right neighbors, I have a pan here with a bit, a couple of tablespoons of some olive oil or cooking oil of choice. I had to wash my gloves because I was doing something and then I had to take them off. I'm going to turn on the burner. And if you make them sort of like a baseball size, give or take a baseball, that'd be like, if you weigh it, it'd be like around a quarter of a pound if you want to do quarter pounders. And you can make them thick or thin. Do them kind of thick though, because you don't want them to fall apart. Do them kind of thick. And you don't want them to fall apart in your crock pot. This is, this is why I'm frying them a little bit first also to hopefully help that not to happen. Some of these patties I will put in a freezer container to have for another day for supper for Graham and I. Play with the like uh, Play with that meat a little bit over here, you know, like it does have to be combined. You don't have to overwork it or overdo it, but you do have to, you do want them to stay together, right? Okay, 
I'm going to brown each side. We're not cooking them in this, we're just browning them. Give a nice color to them before the crock pot and also it will uh, help it, like I say, stay together. I'm going to take off my gloves for a second here because I got it. Or I can turn it down like this with my arm and put it on medium. You can get six to eight patties, depending on how big you're making them. I'm going to make a couple of them kind of big for Graham, but it, if you want quarter pounders, like I say, just do baseball size. I'm going to flip those in about, about three minutes a side-ish. Uh, then I'm going to come back in a minute. We're going to do up some onions and mix up a gravy mix that we have. And I'll show you that just when I get these done, okay? Okay, I'm, I'm putting this on a plate over there with the others that I have. Hopefully these are going to stay together for us. Oh, and I got this. I, I was talking with my cousin the other night. And this is where I got the idea from. Because uh, you can go out and buy burger patties and do this. That's what uh, my cousin does, Melanie, over at Cooking with Cousin Mel. And I'll share her link with you. I'm going to fry these up. Get some of the bits from the pan there. A large onion sliced up, whatever you consider a large is. Mine was really large. I actually got a little bit of it left and I'm saving for something else. I'm just going to saute these for like five minutes, five to seven minutes, until they're kind of getting tender. In the meantime, while they're sauteing, let's get our gravy started. Very simple gravy. You're going to need a can of cream of uh, mushroom or cream or you can use like cream of celery or whatever you feel like, but I like cream of mushroom. My can has been wiped clean when I took it home. Just you don't want uh, those you don't want to just put your cans in the cupboard when you get them home. You want to clean them up because they could have nastiness on them. Two cups of a beef broth. If you only have chicken, that's fine. It's not going to ruin it. One can of cream of mushroom soup. A tablespoon of Worcestershire or a soy sauce, and a ta two tablespoons of cornstarch. I'm going to give it a mix. You may need more cornstarch at the end of cooking, depending on how thick you want your gravy. I always just check mine a half hour before it's done, if that way I can add a cornstarch slurry the last half hour if I want it to be thicker. Our onions are looking good. And I'm going to start putting this together. I'm going to put this great onion mix in the gravy, or the onions in with the gravy. And back with my gloves. Gently put them in there. I'm a little fearful sometimes of these falling apart. Just sit that guy on top. Of. I don't want to put them in between because they might end up bending. I'm just going to sit them on top of the other. I put this over the top. Okay, neighbors. Now you can uh, put this on low for 
uh, five or six hours or high between three and four hours. But check on it, you know, because it depends how thick your burgers are and how quick your crock pot cooks. But look at this. Look inside that pot. Don't it look delicious? I think it does. So I'm just gonna grab one of these patties. And the gravy's thick enough for my liking, or our liking. Look at that. Let's have a little tasty poo, why don't we? Some mashed potatoes. I just opened up a can of green beans there. Let's cut into this. Get a little bit of that with a little bit of potato. And there you have it on a fork. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Delicious. Just some really good potatoes with milk, butter, salt, pepper, mashed up, delicious. That gravy is really, really good. This turned out really, really good. Now, I usually make this in the pan on the stove like mom used to do, and then put a cover on or one of the electric fry pans. So I hope that you like it. I hope that you give it a try. If it's something that you think that you're gonna find delicious, give it a try. And come back for another video, would ya? Come back and visit me again, neighbors. I like the company. Love yous. Peace, love, God bless. Bye.